first of all it's a matter of great honor to be present at this very special location on a very special event uh, i wanted to quote rabindranath tagore where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the words come out from the depth of truth to me the work of prime time foundation as well as the 100 issues of presents stand testimony to these beautiful verses of course tagore concludes it with into that heaven of freedom my father let my country away it is wonderful isn't it that we are all in that heaven of freedom susan of course place this crown of thorns on my head calling me a critic and therefore i should remind all of us about eb white's quote the critic leaves at curtain fall to find in starting to review it he scarcely saw the play at all thankfully i'm not a critic i've been one of the ardent readers of presents for over 40 issues to be precise from april 2012 thus i must confess i had the pure joy of being a reader and i'm here because i enjoyed the journey very much i just wanted to share some phenomenal things that i know about presents and the fabulous editorial team first of all their work is honorary the e-zine is distributed free even the 100th edition is going to be distributed free soft copies hard copies whatever and many youngsters have been part of the e-zine editorial team giving them a unique learning opportunity of designing and running an e-magazine you know this streamers team is truly digital everything is done digitally right through the editorial cycle and distribution the e-zine has over 30000 loyal readers i think shree that's much more than what magazines can claim today and they are very stringent about deadlines all the editions are released on the first of every month on the dot the team puts tremendous importance on disciplined editing why am i saying disciplined editing the draft is edited a minimum of 6 to 7 times they balance content and copy as a marketing and communication person i get uh, i always watch this very closely the length of the copy the insights toughest balance to achieve in this industry every page is checked to ensure there are no cyber law violations i personally love the way whenever a controversial story is done both sides of the case are presented not like arnav goswami's uh, famous uh, famous controversies right and not only that shrini also and his editorial team takes bold views contrary to what mainland media is doing today and to me that takes a lot of courage So how can I complete my views on the editorial team without mention of my favorite favorite Prince cartoon? You see, it's very difficult to make people laugh, right? And then to make them laugh and think is doubly difficult. So Triambak is not there. I request all of you to give Triambak a big round of applause. And of course, uh, definitely I will include Srini, uh, Susan, Mr. Rajendran. Uh, Mr. Ponraj, Jagannathan Sir, Ashok and Sukriti. This is this is nothing less than a Virat Kohli or a Sachin Century, right? You've done it with such a lovely conviction and sincerity. By the way, the collector's edition is very reader friendly and organized into eight section. I actually went through it. Uh, though I've been a regular reader, I actually had to go through all the articles. I started it around 10:30. Mr. Lakshmi will tell you we IT. IT employees go home at 10:30 for whatever weird reason, and then you start reading after 10:30. So I actually this book was unputdownable. I finished at 2:30. Okay. Now I told you about my first talent, which is arguing. Uh, the second talent I have is upward delegation. Now, pandra valaya, boss ko kudga vedi the, seniors ko kudga vedi the. So today, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'll do a crisp review of the book by. converting it into a quiz or right. a only difference kelvi galai nane kega pore because i can only ask questions right all right question number 1 and i'm really missing uh, somebody here there are seven wonders of the world right what is the eighth wonder so i wala ungala regular readers illa ipo na check panni irukken okay 
Who, what is the eighth wonder of the world? According to Dr. T. S. Krishnamurti, it's the Indian Election Commission. He was right here. Uh, yes, he got a one prize. So, uh, my original plan was to read out the extract and get you all to read it. But due to positive of time, I'm going to quickly uh, highlight some of these brilliant articles, which I'm hoping you will all go back home and read. Okay? The size is just mind-boggling. You really have to read that article. Question number two. Who was instrumental in setting up Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore? Brilliant answer. It was uh, by the Tatas and through the influence of Swami Vivekananda. Uh, so, so can one of you read uh, second paragraph in page 53 uh, since uh, the gentleman... You can, please, come, come, come. Thank you for your participation. I'm so sorry. I'm sort of cutting it down just because uh, Lakshmi sir has to leave uh, quickly. So the third one is who was the independent India's first army general? Very good. Please don't uh, forget to go through the lovely conversations with Nehru and a touching incident involving General Kariyapa's son. The fourth one, what is significant about 28th July 1969? Brilliant. Apollo 11 landed on the moon. Again, we all know about uh, one small step, right? So don't, don't miss that article. At this stage, uh, normally I would like to uh, narrate another incident about Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, but I am again requesting you humbly, go through the page number 121, Pondraj mentioned that there was a time when Dr. Ambedkar could not have water in the school because in those days where untouchables were concerned, the pune had to give them water. So if the pune were not there, the child goes without water. Now, this is section 2 for you, uh, which is a beautiful, uh, uh, beautiful compilation of history. Section 3 is again uh, Indian heritage, but uh, Srini has used IPL format. One page, one and a half page, like quick cover Panir uh, one, one thing I want to mention in this, the first phonograph was texted, test, uh, tested by Max Muller with what, what was there in the first phonograph. Rigveda chanting, Agni Mile Prohitam. Alright? Uh, again, you feel so proud reading this book. Uh, Srini and team have done a fantastic job on linkage between physics and Shiva's dance. Sophisticated surgeries done through Ayurveda. Arthashastra talking about governance 2000 years ago. And Ravana having six airports in Sri Lanka. Okay, so please uh, go through section number two and Su uh, Susan, beautiful article on Om. I love the way you've gone above religion and brought in the universality of this word. So I'm just uh, again skipping through the rest of the sections. Uh, again, please forgive me for, uh, you know, the time issue. Section seven covers a very important uh, problem we're all going through, cybercrime. We are living in a digital world and very good attempt by Ezine to put the attention back on cyber safety. There are two things we as loyal readers can and should do. Number one, please cascade Ezine and its contents to your circle. Or color arena viral line. So the least we can do is take some good content, please cascade it in your Facebook. I'm hoping to see uh, Lakshmi and my boss, Mr. Arun Jain, starting to share some of Ezine articles in your Facebook. And two, please give regular feedback to the Ezine team. I hope to see all of you at the release of the 200th edition and I will speak in 10 Tamil uh, for the 200th edition. Thank you.